this is Sunny and today we'll talk about iPhone 6 um, if it's worth buying if you should get iPhone 6 or you should go get a uh, Samsung S6 or you know S6 um, Edge or uh, whatever you know phone you like or HTC M9 so first thing we'll talk about uh, iPhone, how to get it on, like if it's a Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, and when you buy them from Craigslist or eBay, and what you should look into the, them, and uh, just just clear some stuff up. There are a lot of people confused out there, because now this smartphone is like a huge market. Everybody have a smartphone, and a lot of people buy a used phone because they want to take, take it back in country. They want to give somebody, so we have to clear this up for everyone. First thing first, when you buy any phone, okay, it doesn't matter, iPhone, whatever, when you buy any phone, make sure you go to a website before you buy it, tell the, you know, uh, uh, you know tell the, the seller, or, you know, ask him that, uh, can I have your IMEI, can I check, and the, most likely the seller will say no, you know, say, so, okay, we can meet, and then can I check your IMEI? You could call that carrier, you know, whichever carrier phone you're getting, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T. You could call in front of them with your phone or their phone and check the IMEI ESN right in front of them and you could get the phone activated right there. So you know you're getting something legit. If you're buying from eBay, you do the same thing. If you buy it, you message, uh, send a message and ask them, uh, can I have your IMA? I'm a serious buyer and I like to check the IMA with my carrier before I buy your phone. You always have to do that, okay? There's a lot of people I know that made their mistake and they got blacklisted phone, stolen phone, and trust me, you know, people will you know, tell me, oh, you know, this is what happened in forms and stuff and all. Hey, you have to check before you get any phone. Now, as you can see here, I don't know if I could highlight. Yes, I can highlight. Okay, you can check any phone IMA here. So, GSM Unlock, Global IMA Blacklist, Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint. Go to this website called Swappa.com. Now, Swappa is a website. You could check your ESN. You could, I think, post your phone there. You could sell your phone. You could trade your phone. Um, it seems like a pretty good uh, website you could go check and so definitely go check out Swapa and you might get some cool deal and you get to check your phone IMEI, uh, ESN, IMEI, MEID. Now ESN and MEID kind of work together. ESN I think uh, maybe Sprint use MEID. MEID, most of the GSM phone, like uh, let's put it this way. Samsung S6 and uh, iPhone 6. Now these phones comes and the HTC. These phones come with IMEI and MEID. MEID used for the CDMA part. IMEI used for the GSM part. That's why you could use SIM card in this phone. And ESN, what I'm thinking, kind of like an MEID, but I think ESN Sprint use. So I'm not gonna get into too much into that. I'll make another video about ESN, IMEI, and MEID. So, now, after you get your phone, okay, and if it's a Sprint phone and you want to get it online, do not get a Sprint phone just out of the blue. You're going to get stuck with it. You can't get it online. So, you have to make sure what you're getting into, right? First thing, when you get, when you buy a new Sprint phone, you, okay, you have to check, um, let's go to eBay and we put, Brand iPhone 6. Uh, okay. Now, this one goes not for only Sprint iPhone, it goes for Verizon, T Mobile, ATT, and um, Sprint. If you get any iPhone 6, like from any of this carrier, you get iPhone 6. Make sure those, your iPhone 6 is not under their contract. So it's make sure it doesn't fall into that two-year contract okay anyone could sell their personal phone to you and yeah it's not blacklisted it's a whole different thing okay um, basically the reason no one can unlock that phone because every time they try to unlock the phone uh, the system will show them that uh, there is some uh, payment pending or there's some stand balance standing okay the reason it will show balance standing because this phone is under two-year contract 
or maybe this phone, if it's a T-Mobile phone, maybe you know it's under uh, under a monthly payment. So you have to make sure all that before you get into a Sprint phone, T-Mobile phone, Verizon phone, AT&T phone. Um, yeah. Now, as you can see here, it's a clean IMEI. So if you think you could get away with a blacklisted phone don't try it okay don't if you know that phone is blacklisted don't get it don't get that phone doesn't matter if that phone cost you a dollar don't get it the reason i say don't get it you're gonna get stuck with it you're gonna get yourself in trouble don't don't mess with blacklisted stolen phone okay just make sure you buy a legit because this is something you're gonna use for your every day so why would you get in trouble you know getting something you know that that's not cool right that's not cool okay so now what I was saying should you get a sprint uh, should you get a Samsung uh, s6 or an iPhone 6 uh, iPhone 6 still worth it uh, you know compared to uh, Samsung s6 I say yes the reason I say yes iPhone 6 is definitely worth buying over a Samsung Galaxy s6 First of all, it comes with a one-year manufacturer warranty, and I don't know if any of you know, you could take your iPhone to Apple product, to Apple store, you know, as long as they are under one-year uh, warranty and uh, cover it, one-year cover, and you could just get it replaced. You could show them if there is any problem, they will replace it, will replace you the phone. Now, Samsung, you can't do that. Yeah, you could send it to them, but it's like a whole, it's a hustle, okay? You have Apple right there in your city. You could just take your phone and tell, show them the problem. They will check the. They have a lot of uh, professional uh, service persons there. They will check the phone. If there's any problem, they will replace the phone for you. So that's why I prefer. I tell everyone go with the Apple product because it's kind of easier for you, and you have someone you could go and tell your problem, and they will take care of you. Now Samsung, we don't know where is Samsung. Okay, we're not going in. Korea or uh, I'm, I'm sorry you know don't get me wrong I love Samsung but I like that you know that one year I you know that covered by you know Apple and I could go replace my phone I could tell them the problem and they will take care of me if my if I black, break my glass and LCD I could just pay them the money and they'll fix it so I kind of like the way they have everything set up you know I'm not an iPhone fanboy I'm, I'm just telling the truth. You don't like truth? Okay, that's your problem if you don't like truth. Okay, so, yeah, guys, back to the video. So make sure do not buy a blacklisted phone. Make sure buy a clean IMEI. Do not buy a sprint iPhone. Doesn't matter if it's gold, silver, black. Doesn't matter. You, if, you, if you're a sprint customer, check the IMEI. Go ahead and buy it. And if you're thinking about using the sprint iPhone 6 to any other carrier, Buddy, you are not in good luck, okay? Because that phone will be under contract if they didn't pay full price for it. And if they did pay full price for it, they're not going to sell you that phone. So, guys, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave the comments. Um, make sure you subscribe to my this channel plus my uh, other channel, Sunny Nut. And follow me in Twitter, Instagram. I'll bring you guys all the cool content and everything. And how to read your phone, unboxing, and all this. Peace, guys.